Hey guys, what's going on? Doing some editing and uh, watching a little Deep Space Nine, Star Trek. A little chilly, windy, rainy day. Gonna make some of this uh, pumpkin spice bread. It's got a glaze and the regular mix, I guess. Get it at Sam's Club. You get three loaves for like five bucks or something, but you just need some eggs, vegetable oil. Mix it all together, a little bit of milk. Now I'm going to add some chia seeds and walnuts to it. And then I'll probably sprinkle some oats on top or something like that. I'd like to doctor it up a little bit. But I'm going to make it in my 8x8 eight eight pan here. It's a silicone. I love these for the RV because you can just stuff them anywhere. They fold up. Um, oven's already preheating, 350. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I'll show you as we go along. All right, well, we got our vegetable oil. Got the mix in the bowl. Measuring cup, our two eggs. Directions. Huh. And we're gonna put the eggs in, the uh, vegetable oil, and the water. We're gonna mix it all up, and we're gonna grease this pan and get it in the oven. All right, see the chia seeds, eggs, and the walnuts. And we might be able to make out the walnuts in there. Let me get out of the light, or at least try to. Kind of hard when there's shadows everywhere. Now we'll mix it all up. So it all looks consistent. And we will wait like a good five minutes, maybe even a little longer, maybe ten, to allow those chia seeds to rehydrate. All right, got a good consistency. And now we'll just grease up our pan get it in the oven now one of the things is RV onion ovens very rarely show the correct temperature so I use a thermometer a temperature thermometer inside and then I adjust my oven accordingly that's the best way to do it don't go by just the numbers on here get a uh, little oven thermometer there All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take an instant oatmeal and sprinkle it right on the top. Figure the brown sugar and cinnamon go pretty good. In the oven it goes, 350. Mm. And I'll show you when it comes out. All right, guys, one of the things I do, we're about halfway there on the timer, is I go in and I flip, not flip, but turn the um, the pan. This way it gets kind of an even heat, you know? Sometimes you never know, hot spots in the oven, stuff like that. Always a good idea just to spin your, your meal or whatever it is you're cooking, just turn it 180 degrees and uh, it'll help it cook evenly. Uh, one of the things, you know, I figure I do something like this is because the place is a mess. I mean, I got dirty dishes. I got to take out the garbage. I got beef Catalina going here, which is going to be a separate video in the crock pot. You know something? I figured while that's cooking, I can start doing the dishes, cleaning up, you know, and then straighten up this place. I mean... I mean, it's not horrible, but I got electronic stuff all over. You know, I'm working on videos and my YouTube channel and, you know, my guitar over there. I've been kind of just chilling out on the couch here watching Star Trek. Mainly because it, it really is just a miserable day. Yeah, look at that, guys. I mean, it's nice, all the fall colors. Um, you know, you're allowed to hunt right up until sundown. And if it's windy and rainy like this... I don't even bother if it's not enjoyable so that's why I decided to do a little extra cooking tonight so we got about 15 minutes for the uh, the pumpkin cake and uh, show you guys what it looks like when it comes out all right out of the oven toothpick comes out clean actually I used a knife I didn't use a toothpick but then comes out clean might be a little well done on the bottom. 
looks like it a little bit, but not too bad. There you have it. Wow, the uh, the oatmeal on top is awesome. Now we're going to take the glaze. We're going to just whisk it with some milk and then pour it over the top. Uh, after this comes to a complete, you know, completely cool. All right. Still pouring out. Watching miscellaneous hangouts and uh, good neighbors just had a, started a hangout. Know nothing about him. Um, he's a subscriber of mine, or at least I believe he is. Um, but I always, you know, I always try to check out all my subscribers. If somebody subscribes to me, I try to figure out what their, uh, you know, what their deal is because I like to know a little bit about my subscribers, you know. Anyway, let's turn some lights on in here. All right, here's the uh, pumpkin. Turn on another light. The pumpkin cake. You can see it's a little dark around the edges there. But not bad. And now I'm doing the glaze. It's a pumpkin glaze. Yeah, I have whisks. We're not watching. They're watching, which means we have someone else on. That's me, guys. It's me. Thanks for dropping in. I think that's us. No, it's me. Over here. Back to my glaze. All right, the glaze is pretty much done. The uh, Catalina beef, which you'll have to see in another video. You might have, not sure which video you'll see first. Interesting. I think it's a little. Too much milk so we're only going to drizzle a little bit on all right now we're going to let that cool. Oh, by the way, guys, this is a silicone grilling mat. Um, another great tip for you guys. Silicone grilling mat gets used as a cookie sheet and everything else. Um, and it rolls up so you can use it for a lot of different things, including the grill. Yeah, I see ya. All right, guys. Well, it's all cool. The glaze has, for the most part, hardened on the top. You know, it's thickened. Probably added a little bit too much milk to it. Um, but let's cut a piece. Take a look. Ooh, looks good. A little well done on the bottom, like I said. The little well doneness on the bottom actually isn't bad. It adds a little smokiness to it. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's not like a burnt, you know what I mean? It's just a little crispy on the bottom. I think the oatmeal added a little bit of sweetness, seeing how it was instant oatmeal. Very good. You know, for Sam's Club, let me show you this. Look at that. Nice and moist. That's a piece I'm biting out of right there, but. So you can see it's a little well done on the bottom. But other than that, it's very uh, moist. I think it had to do with the uh, silicone baking dish being directly on the grates above the fire. I might have had the rack too far down. Um, but, hey, still edible. It's not going to go to waste. All right, that'll be dessert. 
for after the main course, which will be another video, like I said before. But I thought I'd have a little bit. I'll eat that piece now. Nothing wrong with having dessert before dinner. <laughs> All right, guys. Talk to you soon.